We are just two weeks away from Labor Day weekend and already folks in one Wabash Valley town are gearing up to bring back a local tradition. News 10 Bureau Chief Gary Bryan tells us what you can expect at this year's Palestine Rodeo. The Palestine Rodeo brings thousands of people to this small town. Right now, organizers are making preparations to bring the event back after 2020's cancellation. Things are usually pretty peaceful in downtown Palestine. But inside the Palestine Chamber of Commerce is a different story. That's where you'll find Vicki Perkins answering the phone. We are selling tickets here now um, over the phone. We've turned our PayPal off. In 2020, the Palestine Rodeo was forced to be canceled. This year, the rodeo is back on. That has kept the phone lines busy. We have people coming from Missouri and Tennessee and that they come here for, for the camping and the enjoyment to get together. Palestine's population sits just over 1,000 people. On average, the rodeo will bring the population in town to over 3,000. That's a big gain that was lost in 2020 for the small town. We had no one in town, and of course our restaurants, you know, everything just suffered. But uh, this year, it's, it's been a comeback. The Pioneer City Arena is all set for Labor Day weekend. Signs for the rodeo began going up this week in downtown Palestine. Everyone is ready for this small town to finally make that comeback. We're getting excited, uh, very excited, very, very excited. A meeting is planned for Tuesday night to go over COVID-19 precautions for the rodeo. In Palestine, Gary Bryan, News 10.